breathe. Calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. I don't understand why either. Just, just calm down. Chandler. Hey Sophia. Come on, let's go. Thank you for picking me up. You're welcome. When are you going to get your car fixed? Okay, well, it's not broken, but it's just not reliable, and my parents don't want me to drive it, you know, the whole safety thing. And I guess I could fix it, but I don't know how, so I guess my dad's going to fix it. Well, you may want to watch him while he fixes it, because you're going to need to fix it a lot, guaranteed. Oh uh, yeah, you with learning, Chandler. Oh. Anyway, consider yourself lucky. Why? Because you get to see me every morning. And you have a girl in your car, and it's probably the only one you're ever going to get. Shut up. <laughs> hey, I know it's small, but check the glove box. didn't have to do this. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I love it. I'll wear it all the time. Oh shoot. I totally forgot to write in my diary last night. I need to do that before we get to school. Dude, Miss Herman assigned me to focus today and this is the second time Good morning, today. Good morning, Chandler. It's so annoying. Like, can she just calm down? Looking at Sophia? No. Dude, she's kinda hot. Like, if you don't go after her, I will. Hey. Dude, I'm kidding, man. I don't even know if he really likes me. So, I mean, I guess we'll find out tonight. Are you staring at Chandler? No. She's definitely staring at Chandler. Fine, fine, I'm staring at him, but don't tell, okay? I don't want things to be weird just because I'm into him. So does that mean Russ doesn't like you anymore? Oh, I'm so happy that's over. He was totally obsessed with me. No, yeah, I totally get that, but you know, if you ever want to talk about it, I'm here. Thanks. Hey, Sophia, come here for a sec. Yeah, what's up? Brittany invited us to dinner. With just her? No, she's bringing some guy. Oh, right, she's got a crush. Anyway, what are you working on? Um, well, I just got done with another college application. I took the state test final today. You know, I'm just slowly getting there. Nice, well, I'm really proud of you. Thanks, Sophia. I'll see you later? Yeah, I'll, I'll see you then. All right, bye. <laughs> So there I was, the 20 yard line, running past defenders one by one. I, I, was, I knew I was gonna score. I made it to the 10 yard line and then all of a sudden, one of those linebackers came from behind and, and nailed me right in the back. I felt a pop in my spine and I fumbled the ball. Oh my gosh, were you okay? Yeah, you know, they came up and they, they, they told me that I probably like broke my spinal cord uh, and so they were taking me off on the stretcher but then, you know, I just, I just felt the strength to stand up. Um. Will y'all excuse me? I need to take this really quick. Yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, so yeah, um, afterwards the doctors told me that uh, <clears throat> they'd never seen anything like that. Like they'd never seen a recovery like that ever. So like, you know, it's pretty legit. Hello? Who is this? Who's calling? So what do you do? Well, I'm not really into sports. I mean, I like watching them, but 
Um, I'm mostly trying to focus on school right now. I'm wanting to go to Stanford. So you're like smart? Yeah, he's, he's like really smart. He's had a 4.0 GPA for like two years. Hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> Pretty good. That's good. Um, can I get anything started for you? Uh, Chandler, do you want a strawberry shake? Um, yes, and uh, Sophia will have her usual. Okay, and um, how about for you, sir? Uh, chocolate shake, please. Okay, and for Brittany? I think I want a double chocolate milkshake, but I'm trying to cut down on my sugar, so I'll just have a regular chocolate milkshake. Uh, no. Um... It's okay, it's okay. I'll get that started for you. Thank you. You know, I sometimes feel bad for her because she always gets bullied at school, but she's, she's so nice. Are you kidding me? She's weird and a nerd. I'm a nerd. Well, I mean, you're like a cool nerd. How is she weird? Last year, I walked in on her choking on an eraser during the book fair. Who was that? Oh, no one important. So, <clears throat> this one time, Brittany and I were in the hot tub. Let's, let's go get some salad from the salad bar. Okay. So, how did you do on that test today? Fine. Why? Uh, no reason, just wondering. What do you want? How do I know this isn't fake? Can I at least see it? Fine, have it your way, freak. No, I haven't. She hasn't answered any of my calls, any of my texts, and we're about to lose our streak. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Miss Jero. Did Sophia stay home from school today? No, she left for school early this morning. Brittany, thank you for coming. I got a few questions I want to ask you. You know, we're investigating this disappearance and I need to know what your relationship was with Sophia Gerald. How do you feel about her? She's always there for me, so. It's more than I can say about most people. Well, we didn't talk much, but whenever we did, she was always supportive in anything anyone was doing. And whenever taking pictures, she was always real photogenic, like just naturally looking at a camera. And um, I always invited her to my parties too, so she was a nice person. Sophia was one of those people that you could talk to and almost immediately you'd feel this connection. She was really nice, my friend had a crush on her. She helped me on a test one time. I mean, we were pretty close and we talked sometimes, but I am dating a guy that she had history with. Sophia would always participate in class and she, she always put a smile on people's faces. You know, it's, it's one of those things where you just, it's, it's so hard to believe she's actually missing. She, she just brought so much positivity and she was so easy to talk to. This whole situation has been so hard on her and her family. And I think her mom has taken it the worst, but I don't know. It just gives me a lot of motivation to go and help for this search, to find her. 
I don't know what's going to happen if we don't. Did you talk to Sheriff Hughes? Yeah. He said that uh, they haven't found anything, and it's very unusual for this case. That this missing person report is just unlike anything they've ever seen. How long has it been? Almost two months now. There's no leads or anything. Have you talked to Miss Jero? No. The last time I talked to her, she was filling out the missing person report and she couldn't handle it, so I left. I may go talk to her today. Chandler. Uh, no, I'm sorry, Miss Jero. You don't I... have permission to be here. The police have already been here and they've searched her room. And they found nothing. I know. But I, I feel like they're missing something. Because they don't know Sophia as well as I do. Trust me, if they were going to find anything, they would have found it two months ago. I just can't believe she's gone. One day I'm laughing with her in the hall and then... Now she's not here. I know. I miss her too. She was always there for me. She could have been anyone else's friend and she chose me. We're so glad that you and Sophia were close. And I know that she was too. We just have to believe that she'll be back. about it? No. It's, it's literally nothing. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, come on. I have something to show you. Who did this? I don't know. It was her when I got to school this morning. It's amazing. Hey, Michael's having a party this weekend. You and Chandler can come if you want. Yeah, I'll go. Um, but Chandler is acting weird about this whole Sophia thing. Um, I'll ask him after gym, though. Okay. With everything that's been going on with Sophia's case and everything going on here at school, at home, I just, I just feel alone. Well, everyone feels like that, Chandler, but maybe you need to open up to other people. I'm here to talk if you need me to. I know. 
Michael's having this party this weekend. Maybe you should go to clear your mind and maybe stop thinking about Sophia all the time. I just don't know if I'm ready to go out and see other people. Sophia would want you to be there. I'll let you think about it, but um, it's this weekend, so don't wait too long to tell me. I'm Ashton. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Chef. Nice to meet you. Uh, wait, I haven't seen you run. Do you know Michael? Um, actually, no, I don't. Uh, I heard about the party and decided to crash it. Figured since I just moved here, it'd be a good way to make new friends. Oh, nice. You just moved here? Yeah. What school did you move from? Um, I moved from Valley High. It's only like 30 minutes away. Oh, yeah, yeah. We play you guys in like a bunch of different sports. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so why'd you choose Fallbrook? Well. Did you see Jeremiah? Yes, I know it's an open invitation, but that doesn't mean that you can bring a new girlfriend. Who are you? Uh, this is Ashton. Ashton, this is Brittany. Nice to meet you. Hey, um, do you know anyone here? No. Well, I'll show you my friends. Right. Have you seen Russ? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, so this is Ashton. Uh, hey. And uh, this is Izzy. She is very close with all the boys at our school. Oh. Brittany. <laughs> and this is Abby. She posts a lot of videos of herself crying on her bed stuff. Brittany. Have a good night, man. Thank hey, you. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, man. See you later. See ya. What happened? Rested her up. Hey, ma'am. Hey Chandler, what are you doing here? So, uh, did you just forget about Izzy tonight? You stood her up. Like, who do you think you are? What? Who do you think you are? You don't come to my house in the middle of the night and start saying stuff like that. Get, get off my property before I see you for more than you're worth. Hey, Izzy. Hey. So I went and I talked to Russ, and I asked him why he wasn't at the party. Why? Yeah, why wasn't he there? Well, he, uh, he didn't really tell me. He just blew me off. I mean, I guess he just didn't want to go, but why did you want to date him? Well, I mean, he was really nice when we first met, but, like, he was really... Hey, can y'all give us a minute? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where were you the night of the party? Something came up. 
What was it? Just nothing important. Well, I waited all night there, and you never showed up. And you made me look stupid. I know. I, sh I should have talked to you. I should have told you I wasn't going to come. I should have just said something. I didn't. I'm sorry. The ongoing story on Fallbrook High's Sophia Jero is starting to take a turn as more time goes by with no conclusion. Fallbrook police have issued the notion of closing the case as of this past Friday. From everyone here at Fallbrook High, we all miss you, Sophia. to know. I just still can't believe they haven't found anything. It seems impossible. We have to do something. Like, we can't just let her be forgotten. I want to talk to the police. It just, it feels like they quit. I mean... And if they're going to just give up, I don't care what it takes. If it means it's up to us now. She meant... She means too much to me to just let things go like this. Okay, I'll do whatever I can to help you. That means a lot to me right now. Thank you. Boys, listen. I get it. I really do. Your friend is missing, and we all want to be the one that finds her so we can be the hero. But right now, I promise we've exhausted all our leads. We have no new leads. We're just at You're a You're telling dead me that as a cop, you can't do your job to find a missing girl. We really do want to find her. But right now, there's really nothing else left for us to do. But you guys could do the whole town a favor and go home, because obeying the curfew law is really important, and I really wish your friend would have done that. Hey, what's going on out there? Go 2319, 2319. Hey Chandler. These are the cold case files. This is Sophia's case. Whoever did this is trying to cover it up. What are you guys doing here? Didn't you hear? They're closing her case. Yes, but we just found something. While we were at the sheriff's office, we were in the middle of a meeting and some guy came in while we were there and he was going through the cold case files. 
and then he ran out, but left Sophia's case on the ground. Sophia's case, so, so he's covering up his tracks. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he's at least involved. Yeah, I mean, and from the looks of it, he was small and scrawny. I mean, I think he had brown Guys, hair. Guys, not even the cops have gotten anything. Guys, we just need to accept it. Maybe Sophia's dead. Whoa, Sophia's not dead, okay? The case is cold, not dead. The clues are leading us somewhere. We just have to figure out where. I mean, if the cops aren't going to help us, then we'll just have to do it ourselves. I mean, we know Sophia better than anyone. Um, I just moved here. Shut, Shut up. up. Okay. So why can't we try? It's our last hope. I mean, Sophia would have done this for any one of us. You all know that. What if she's out there right now, hoping that no one will give up on her? Could you go on living? No, no, no I, I can't. Okay, then let's do this. So this means we need a team name, right? Shut, Shut up. up! Oh. Okay, Chandler, but seriously, you're not gonna get anywhere with that file. You'd have to interrogate the whole town. No, but everyone has lockers. I'm not memorizing all those combinations. No, we get a key. That's a lot of keys, Chandler. No, a master key. A master key? Yes, something that we can put in the locker and open every locker in the school. Let me take care of that. Hey guys, look what I got. Is that what I think it is? Oh. Hey guys, uh, I'm doing some photos for the yearbook. You guys want one? Yeah, yeah. sure. Uh, can you move to the left? This is my good side. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Can I see them? Yeah, sure, here. All right, so here's your key. How did you even get these? Um, it's not that hard. What did What did you do? You know, I just sort of snuck into the bookkeeper's office and got them. No way. Yeah. What is this? What do you think it is? It's the key. The key that's just going to let us into every locker in the school. Yeah, what else would it be? <laughs> okay. Right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to meet up Tuesday night, okay, 6 o'clock. Meet outside the school doors. And I'll find a way to let us in. I will. Okay? Alright, All right, good. Wait, why did we leave Brittany in the car? Let's just say that she's better in the getaway car. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so what's the plan? Literally, open as many lockers as you can. Okay. Let's go. Michael had these in his locker. The photographer? Yeah. This is pretty creepy. How would he have those? I have no idea. Um, Do you think he could be involved in the case? I mean, it's hard to say, but yeah, possibly. Well, let's call the sheriff down and show these to him tomorrow. But what if he asks us about something? We'll just say he had these. Let's do it. So why did you guys call me down here? Michael Hutchison had these. He may be a real suspect. Miss Donna, could you call Michael Hutchinson down to the office, please? Thank you.
Hey. About Michael. I think we made a mistake. Alright Hutchinson, you're my first suspect in this case, and you look pretty guilty to me right now. I'd love to put a cap on this, wrap this whole case up, and be home in time for dinner. And for me to do that, I've got some questions you're going to have to answer. And I know a lot of people in this town will feel safer with you in jail. And I'm tired, really tired, Michael. I haven't done anything. I really? Do. All I've got to do is convince the jury that there's enough evidence to put you away. Now, I need some information about these pictures. And I want to know what you were doing with these and why they were in your locker. I swear I've never seen these photos in my life. I don't even know how they got in my locker. Not good enough. It sounds like a lie. It'd be really hard for a jury to believe that you've never seen these and they were in your locker. You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna go to jail with some people that really don't care a whole lot about you. Um, I, I may have seen these on her Instagram before, but I still don't know how they got in my locker. Like, do you really, is this why I'm here? Do people really think I did something to Sophia? Well, did you? I got another question for you. Where were you on the night of March 3rd, 2017? I can't remember, that was like a year ago. Well, you better start remembering. Hey, Carter. Okay, okay. I'm, I think I was at a photography convention and I wasn't even at school because it lasted all day. Good alibi. Came up with that pretty quick. You better hope it's true. Jennifer? Yeah. You don't mind, I need you to check Michael Hutchinson's alibi. He says he was at a photography convention on March 3rd, 2017. See if those pictures pull up, and if there are, compare those to Sophia's Instagram. Let's see what we can find out. You got it. All right. Well, that was fun. It's not very often in Fallbrook we get to interrogate someone. I like playing the bad cop, acting mean sometimes. So you think he was telling the truth? Well, I think so. He was horrified. Did you see his face? Yeah, we did, Sheriff. We were watching. Well, that proves my point. Hey, Sheriff. Hey, Jennifer. That alibi checks out. Well, then it can't be him. Do you think Michael deserved that harsh of an interrogation? I mean, how do we even get away with going through all of those lockers at school? Well, it is a publicly owned place, so they can't really do much about it. Hey guys. Hey. We, uh, we saved you a piece. No, nice. no, you saved him a piece, me one piece, and then you ate six pieces. So check this out. You'll never guess what these are. What are they? They're pages from Sophia's diary. She had a diary? Yes. Yes, she did. And she thought it was a bit childish, so she kept it a secret. But that's not the point. The point is, look at the date. March 3rd. Why, why is that important? That's the day before she went missing. Oh, is, is that the day we went to the country diner with, yes. with yes, Jeremiah? I yes. Oh, I haven't thought about Jeremiah since, since all of this crap happened. Who's Jeremiah? It's not, not important, but, but what, what's this stuff about the unknown caller? Yeah. I saw that earlier when I was reading it, and... Wait, where'd you, where'd you get these again? 
Riley dropped them in the hall. <clears throat> Why did Riley have them in the first place? I don't know, but these are key pieces of evidence to finding out where Sophia is. No, no. Should we really be reading pages of her diary? I, I mean, it's the only choice we have left. This is the most evidence that we've had in the past year on what has happened to her. What if she's just trying to cover everything up? I mean, it's the pages about the unknown caller. What if she's the unknown caller? I mean, it all makes sense. Wait. No, that, that was stupid. No, no, that was a good idea. Yeah, that's a I, good idea. I want to go talk to her tomorrow. At I'm going to go with you. I'm going to stay back on this one. I'll let you guys handle it. Okay. Pretty. Penny, where were you? Brittany! Brittany! Brittany, I needed you! Why do you have pages from Sophia's diary? I found them. Why do you have them? I don't know, I just found them in the hallway and I was gonna give them back to her, I promise, but she went missing. Why didn't you turn these into the police? I don't know, I forgot about them and I, I didn't you, really think about that. You forgot? Okay, what did you do? I didn't do anything, I swear. <sighs> Look at her. She's too much of a bookworm, too socially awkward to do anything other than go to class and work at the country diner. Oh yeah, you work at the country diner, don't you? I'm sorry for chewing you out. I'm just really caught up in Sophia's case right now. Well, if she works the country diner, there's no way she could have been the unknown caller. It's just another dead end. Sorry, I uh, I forgot an, about an honors project that was due. It has to be a thousand words, so I have to be here to finish it. I need to tell you something. Okay. And I know I know it sounds crazy. I know it does, and you're probably not gonna believe me, and that's fine. But I feel like I need to tell you something. I've been imagining things like weird things, and they've all been about Sophia. Brittany. The first one was of her duct taped, and a man came out behind her and was about to break her neck, and, and I felt like I was seeing it through her eyes, like I could feel her breathing, I could feel his hands, Chandler. Brittany. Then I saw her today. She was standing in front of me in the hallway, but it wasn't really her, it was... She was yelling at me, saying I wasn't a good enough friend, saying I wasn't there for her. Chandler, I wasn't there for her. If I were a better friend, maybe if, maybe if I were there for her, if we were closer, she would have told me what was going on. I could have stopped all of this. If I weren't so caught up in things that didn't matter and drama being popular, 
getting Brittany. Being accepted, then Brittany, oh my gosh. Listen, I don't I don't know what to do. No, no, no. Brittany. Brittany, are you okay? Br Sophia, I am sorry. I didn't do any of this. This isn't my fault. I was the best friend that I could have been to you. This isn't my fault. This isn't my fault. It's no one's fault. No one's fault. Me. I probably wouldn't have waken up if you didn't call me first. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, I'm running a little late, too. Uh, I'm not there yet, but I am coming, so... But what was that last night? Uh, yeah, um, nothing. It, it doesn't matter. You can tell me. Yeah. I already told you. I kind of was just imagining things, like she was in my head. Huh. Weird. I guess I just had to forgive myself. Like, maybe she was in my head because of me the whole time, like... I feel guilty for something or something I could have done, but I think it's over now. Just please don't say anything to anyone. Not even Ash. It would ruin. I won't. I promise. Yeah. Thanks. How are you doing your prom makeup? Honestly, I don't know, but I spent $200 at Ulta the other day. $200? Yes. On what? Like, like, just new stuff, like all new makeup. That's so ridiculous. What's wrong with him? I don't know, but he's been talking about Sophia, Michael, and Riley for the past week. Saying how much of a creep Michael is, how Riley has something to do with it, and how we can't believe Sophia is actually gone. Like, I can't have a normal conversation with him without him bringing it up. Can you keep an eye out for him? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he'd come to you first before me, but yeah, I will. What are you doing in here, Sheriff? Eating donuts? It's uh, lunchtime. I had donuts for breakfast, not that it was any of your business. What do you need? Okay, you didn't even look into Michael Hutchison. For all we know, he was lying. Did you check surveillance cameras? No, you didn't. Plus, you got Riley Cross keeping journal entries. What's that about? They said something about an unknown caller. You didn't even look at Riley it. Riley Cross? Riley Cross is not even the suspect. It's the first time I've ever even heard that name. I'm gonna write that name down. Riley Cross. We're gonna check into it. But what I suggest you do is stay out of this case. That it would be a lot easier for us to do our job if you teenagers would let us do it and mind your own business. I'll be in touch with you when we find something out. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Get out. Are you okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? You just seem obsessed about something. Obsessed with what? Sophia, the closed case. Why do you care about it so much? Why wouldn't I care? She's missing, for all we know, dead. I have the money for the resources and I haven't done anything. Yeah, and that's not your responsibility. My responsibility? We went to high school with her. We were close with her. And that's why they pulled us all out of class so they could talk to us all individually. It doesn't mean anything. People do anything to cover their butts. That's not our problem. Not our problem? You were best friends with Brittany. I thought of all people you'd understand. Yeah, and I've seen what it's done. It's destroyed her and Chandler.
Okay, so I found my old phone. No, I did not come all the way over here because you found your old phone, Chandler. Well, it's not just the phone, it's, it's what's on it. Wait, what did you find? A voicemail on March 3rd from Sophia. And? That's the night she went missing. It's the last call she gave me. Listen. No, no, did, did she, did someone? I miss her. I know you do, but it seems like something else is bothering you. No, I, I, I miss her presence. I miss her smile. I miss the way she could light up a room just by walking in. I miss everything about her, the way, everything. She was, she was a forever friend, Chandler, and I'm so scared that I'll never see her again. Listen, sh she's out there. We'll find her. I hope so. I'm nervous, man. What do you mean? Well, I mean, we've been trying to find Sophia, and what if we actually figure out what, what we're not wanting? I don't know. It's just scary to think about how I mean, we could actually find her, you know? Yeah, I mean, but isn't that what we've been trying to do this entire time? I mean, we're trying to find out what happened. Yeah, but what if the truth is something that I don't want to know? Honestly, Chandler, I mean, you have to make a choice. I mean, think about it. We could go on, just not search, not do anything, and just hope that she somehow magically appears. Or we could keep searching, keep driving, trying to find her, trying to figure out what happened. I mean, weren't you the one that said you wouldn't be able to rest or go on thinking about how she could still be out there hoping someone would find her. Yeah, that was me. Then but... then why stop now? I mean, you have literally nothing to lose. Except her. Listen, a couple years ago, we tried dating. We tried it. And it just didn't work out. It got awkward. And so we went back to being friends. And the thing was, it didn't turn into that, that relationship where we stopped talking to each other and we didn't hang out. We were always just best friends. And a couple months before she went missing, I, I realized that I still love her. And to think now that she's gone, of course there's hope in me that we won't, we'll find her, but imagine if we don't. Imagine if she's dead. 
I don't know, just every day since she's been gone, she's just been in every one of my thoughts. I wake up every morning and I just think, like, where could you possibly be? I just want her back. I know, man, we all do. We all do. <laughs> Dude, I promise we're going to find her. I'm going to do anything in my power to find her. Anything. Thanks, man. Hey guys, I found something. What is this? That's Sophia's phone, try to turn it on. It's not turning on. Well, check the SIM card. It's gone. Well then it's useless. Chandler, this is Sophia's phone. We have to call the cops. Yeah, we're out here with shovels and rakes. We're not doing anything. They're gonna be able to help us way more than what we're doing. No. No, they won't. Keep looking. Fine. Chandler, Ashton told me you guys received a voicemail. When did this happen? When did you guys find out about this voicemail? Uh, about two days ago. And you didn't think you should call and let the police know about that? Uh, Apparently not. How are we going to do our job if you guys don't keep us informed about this? When you get information like that that might help us find Sophia, you should let us know. Immediately, not two days later. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I've I told you guys to quit meddling in this, but I do think this may be a good lead. I'm going to go back to the car, call this in, get some backup out here. You stay right here. I'll be right back, okay? Yes, sir. All right, Chandler. You called the cops? Yeah, I had to. <laughs> what the hell, Chandler? Listen, I'm sorry, okay? We're never going to find it because the cops don't do anything. Guys! <laughs> Car one nineteen. Car one nineteen, go ahead. We found a body um, from the looks of the victim. Broken neck, broken back, pretty bad shape. Looks like it was a victim that was run over by a car. I just really hope it's not Sophia. That's a temp for us. I'm gonna call detectives and route to you.
The DNA results came back. So? It was Sophia. I'm sorry. just always with them. Because they're the only ones who know what I've gone through this year. Like, finding out Sophia's... dead? Like, I need them now more than ever. But I'm your boyfriend. I'm supposed to be the one you come to. Are you asking me to choose between you and finding out who killed my best friend? That's not what I'm saying. That's what it sounds like. And between you and Sophia, Sophia wins every time. How do you think I'm, I'm supposed to feel when you're out with a bunch of other guys all the time? You don't have to know. I think I speak for both of us when I say we're done. Wait! No, get the word done, Jeremiah. Cutting my teeth on streets nobody wants to go through. Earn these stripes made of lines that can't be. Chandler, I thought you were here to blow off steam. I am. That's why I'm here. It feels like it's the only thing I can do now. Because Sophia's gone. I don't know what happened, and it just hurt. You know, it hurt not knowing. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Just go home and live my life like nothing happened? Because something did happen. Sophia's gone, and there's nothing I can do about it. Chandler, I need to tell you something. I, I think I killed Sophia. There was this night, and I was super upset and I was drinking and I was driving down one of these back roads and there was this girl that walked out in the middle of the road out of nowhere and I hit something then there was this scream. <laughs>
Explain. It was about two years ago, and my brother got killed in combat. My dad became an alcoholic, and my mom left. It got so bad one night that I decided to steal a bottle from my dad and start driving. And then, out of nowhere, she came out into the road. Uh, blonde hair. She was wearing boots. And the next thing I remember, I woke up in jail. He didn't do it, Chandler. Yes, he did. He told me. Where is he? Well, I, I got angry and knocked him out. But he's in jail. We did it. He's our friend. Why would you do that? Well, what did you expect me to do? He killed he Sophia. He did not kill Sophia. What do you mean? When he told me what happened, I convinced him that he didn't do it. But he wanted to tell you and I told him not to because I knew you'd react like this. You knew? Yes, I knew. You knew that he killed Sophia. He didn't kill Sophia Chandler. You are ruining people's lives. Michael can't walk through the hallways at school without people bullying him, and Riley's being harassed more than she ever was before. You don't care how many people that you have to hurt just to find closure on Sophia's murder. Shut up. You betrayed Sophia. You're nothing but a liar, and you deserve to be in that cell with him. Don't help Ash, and don't talk to me again. Hey man, what's up? Russ, I need your help with the case. Tomorrow we're checking out Ashton's house. Is that alright? Yeah, of course. Thanks. It's just gonna be a quick search. I don't think he's gonna be home. Okay. Yeah, can do. Alright, see you, man. I'm so sorry. I... I don't know why he'd do this. He's not Chandler anymore. Don't be sorry. He has every right to do this. No, he doesn't. You didn't do it. You know that. I don't know that, Brittany. I was drunk. We were on the same road. It could have been me. Well, I don't believe it, so unless you give me a reason to do think otherwise, I'm going to help you. I mean... That's what you want to do. I mean, I want to help, but I don't know what I can do. I don't know who else can help. I mean, there's my dad, but that's probably a waste of time. Well, at least it's something. Brittany, he's an alcoholic. He's probably going to be drunk. And he's unpredictable. Okay. Just be safe. Okay, I will. Um, hi, uh, my name is Brittany. I'm a friend of Ashton's. I don't think uh, we've met yet. Not that I know of. Um, well, it's nice to finally meet you. Yeah, sure. Can I help you? Uh, actually, yes. Can I come in? Oh, yeah, sure. Come in. So, where is Ashton? I haven't seen that boy all day. Well, that's actually why I'm here. Were you not told? <laughs> told what? Well, see, Ashton's in the city jail. <laughs> Dead gum. That's why all those police have been ringing off my phone all day. Are you not worried? <laughs> worried? Why worry? He's got a loaded mother. She'll get him off. She always does. Well, don't you want to help him? Sure. 
Maybe I can help him get out of it versus his mother. What do you need him to help get out of? Do you remember um, the night of March 3rd, 2017, when Ashton got put in jail for a DUI? <laughs> he is my son after all. <laughs> you don't know any details like who he hit or anything else? You better talk to his mother. She always gets him out of this thing. She'll take care of him. Then where can I find her? Thank you. Sure thing. <laughs> now go save my son. <laughs> um, I'll try. Cheers. Why are you here? Are you helping him? Are you serious right now? Yes, and you should too. Russ, why are you even here? Nobody likes you. To make sure he stays in. You're so wrong for doing this, and you're so wrong for not trusting Ashton. I do not even know what to say to you. It's so great to meet you. I see Ashton every weekend, and he's always talking about you guys. Good things, I hope. Always good things. I really am sorry about your friend. Thank you. We, we just want justice for her. I'm sure you do. Ashton's always talking about his desire to help you both. He's always been a good help. I'm glad. So, is Ashton coming over or just you? Well, actually, he's in the city jail right now. What? Why? Suspect for Sophia's murder. He was on the same road when he hit someone on March 3rd, 2017. The night of the DUI? Yes. There's no way he hit one of his friends that night. What? How? Who? So, the night he got his DUI, it was with his good friend Lucy, and he wasn't really going that fast, but she still broke her leg and had a severe concussion. He brought her to me in his arms, and I covered up as best as I could. I took her to the hospital, and the police took him to jail. Then I broke his phone so he wouldn't get the backlash from it, and I talked to the, her family, and they were so kind and sweet and said that they wouldn't press charges. He still spent the two months in jail, and then, when he got out and was released, he went to Fallbrook. So, so it wasn't him? No, he didn't. There's no way. Okay, so all we need you to do is come talk to the sheriff and explain. How do you know about his DUI? He told me, along with our other friend, who also turned him in. Ashton thinks he killed Sophia. That's all my fault. There's so many things in his life that are my fault. His father and I split up and now he lives with them so he can watch him so he doesn't do something like he did. I was selfish, and now my son has to deal with it every day. Well, he only ever seems happy or excited, never sad. He's strong. What? Why is he out? Because he didn't do it. He had a solid defense. Everyone has a solid defense, don't they? So far, all the suspects in this case have had a solid defense. I know you guys want to find who did this to Sophia, but I'm not going to put an innocent person in jail. I'm not. That's going to make us just as bad as the killer if we try to pin this on someone that did not do it. Okay, fine. I hope you're right, though. I am right. But hey, guys, I've been really nice about this. I need you to let us do our job. Quit meddling in this investigation and let the professionals handle it.
Hello? Yes, this is her. I'm on my way. What's going on? Brittany's in the hospital. What happened? I don't know. Hey, hold on, I'll take you. Hey, Brittany, I need to ask you a few questions about what happened. I know you're having trouble speaking. Take this pen and paper. Now, if you don't mind, write down anything you can remember about who did this. Facial features, jewelry they were wearing, um, hair color, anything that will help me identify who did this to you. Brittany? Brittany. Great, thank you. I'll be back in just a little bit, okay? All right. Brittany Bailey. So I have some news for you. Unfortunately, surgery is going to be the only option. What happened? It's not good, man. She's in bad shape. Someone tried to strangle her to death. What's wrong with her? She's ripped her vocal cords to the point of surgery. She's got bruises all around her neck from the attacker's hands. Her throat is almost completely swollen shut. She's in bad shape. Why? What has she ever done? Oh my God, Brittany. Are you okay? Who did this? Look, I know you're scared and upset, but I have just the thing to cheer you up. I left my purse in Russ's room. I'll be right back to get it. Get some rest, okay? Hey guys, who could do this? I don't know. Brittany hasn't said anything. She can't even talk. Well, let's go see her. Yeah. No, hold on, hold on. Guys. I know you're hungry, I know I'm hungry, I know Brittany's hungry, and I know Izzy's hungry. Do you mind getting us all some snacks? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I got it. Thanks, guys. Let's go. Hey, Brittany. Don't look at me like that. You brought this on yourself. You could just keep your mouth shut, none of this would happen. But you couldn't. So here we are. I thought I did it. I thought you were dead. But nope. You're a tough one. I thought I was so sneaky. Snuck right past your brother, got right on your bed. You didn't even make a sound. <sighs> Doesn't matter to me. Messing my plans enough. Just more pain for you. Just promise me one thing. Remember me when you're gone. Oh, I don't think Chandler's coming through that door. He's getting the snacks. <laughs> All this, it's gonna be on him. Not on me. He'll come back. I'll be the only witness. He'll get caught. Best part is, you can't do anything, you can't say anything. It makes my job easy. Okay, 
I got Brittany's things. Um, you can get the rest. I'll go All get right. this to her. All right, I'll be up there in a minute. Brittany, what happened to you? Are you okay? I didn't do anything. So annoying. You did it! Russ, why do you have Sophia's diary? Hmm? Because I did it. I did it really good. Brittany, everything, you're safe now, okay? Jim, 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 stop! Uh, he did it! Russ did it! thing she saw. You know what the funnest part was? Watching the chase after me. My coal, the necklace, the papers. <laughs> and you know what? Couldn't have done it alone. You helped me out Chandler. Thanks. Check that SD card. You'll find what you need. If I can't have you, no one can. I had a feeling you'd come first. I'm only here to show you what you're missing. And what's that? Getting what you want? What's to say I won't? Have your parents come yet? Have they answered any of your calls? I didn't think so. You can't say anything. At least I don't live in a junkyard and pretend. At least I'm not trying to be someone else. I know who I am. I'm Russ Dowdy. You're pathetic. You're the one on the opposite side of the door. I don't know what to think anymore. For the past year, I've been searching for the person who killed Sophia, and really, I've been staring at him in the mirror this whole time. Chandler, that's not true. Russ did it, everyone knows that. He's serving the time. But he's not. I never thought so clearly about this. One action caused all this. One mistake created this whole situation. If I wouldn't have done what I did, Sophia wouldn't have gone to meet Russ and she wouldn't be dead. She'd be here today, walking the halls with her smile and everything, and she'd be with me. That's not true. Yes, it is, Ash. 
I took the ADHD pills to do well on the test. I had the cheat sheet with me and Russ threatened me with it. He found it on surveillance and was going to use it to where I couldn't get into good colleges and I'd be known as a cheat and a liar. Sophia knew that and she sacrificed herself for me. If I wouldn't have done what I did, I would have been able to look her right in the eye and say, I love you. Everybody's sorrows are on me. I caused all this. And most of all, I killed my best friend. Brittany, I'm worried about Chandler. He thinks this is his fault. He, he keeps saying that if he didn't cheat on the test, that, that Sophia would still be here. But I've tried to convince him otherwise. He just, he won't listen. I'm really worried about him. Am I living in a dream come true? Arms around you dancing Yeah, the world's a burning room I don't see it when all I see is you Come pick me up. He didn't kill Sophia Chandler. You're ruining people's lives. If I wouldn't have done what I did, Sophia wouldn't have gone to meet Russ and she wouldn't be dead. Chandler, you didn't answer my call. We just have to believe that she'll be back. I took the ADHD pills to do well this on the, is the test. Worst. I, I had the no story, but it's urgent. I need you for ASAP. Shut up! Brittany, get up. We gotta go. Are you gonna get that? Chandler, 
You don't have to do this. Chandler, people still care about you here. Your friends still care about you here. They need you. Think of your mom. And Brittany and Ashton. Don't do something you'll regret. And I know you, you're smart. So don't be stupid. I know you think it's your fault, but it's not. It's not. And you don't need to blame yourself. Chandler, you didn't answer my call, so answer theirs. Chandler, where are you? What are you doing? If you're thinking about doing what I think you are, all you're going to do is hurt everyone around you. Chandler, listen to me. Yeah, life sucks. We all know it. But... It's not always going to suck. It's going to get better. Can you... Can you please just trust me? Tell me where you are. Please. got accepted into Stanford. Hope you're proud of me. I miss you. And I really, really wish you were here. I'm never going to be able to forgive myself, because I'm here living. When I feel like I ended your life.
and I want you, but I know I can't. No, I can't. I know I can't have you here with me. And I'm sorry. You will always be my world, Sophia. I love you. Find me. 